kind of involved in politics, and so I listen to Glenn Beck a lot while I'm painting. So Glenn had said that George was looking up when he prayed. That really got it, because I had, prior to that, read the same thing myself, that, that George always looked up. So that kind of is an odd way to do it, but I've also found myself at times doing the same thing where I'm actually looking for God to somehow look back, I guess, I'm not sure. And I just had this really strong impression to do a painting of George Washington's prayer at Valley Forge, praying but uh, looking up towards heaven. But I just felt like this was a painting he was supposed to have. I became very mindful of this partnership that we have not just as leaders of a nation, but as individuals. There's really only so much we can do, and then it's in God's hands. That felt to me like that was the story of Valley Forge. So it was really important to me to see that despair and that total giving yourself to God. I studied the death mask, so it would be in his 60s, so I had to take him backwards. I had to give him a much younger face. That gets really tricky and challenging. These paintings are really successful in large part because of the models that I choose. We shot this in February and we had had a snowstorm. And I liked the way that the light would hit the buttons and they would reflect. So I uh, was able to watch the framing of it, the building of that frame, which was every bit as much part of the art as what the painting was. I began to see the similarities between the times we're living in and the times that General Washington lived in. And I could see a guiding power in that, in that there was a timing issue to this. In painting someone's portrait, like the Savior, even though there's documentation of people that have seen him, in the age of photography, that's not easily done. So with George Washington's, I had to, to make sure that I got this right. What we at Haven Light have created for Mercury One is a special Valley Forge edition of In God We Trust. We wanted to create a presentation that reminded people of America the way it used to be. Most importantly, it's built to last. We wanted to create an heirloom that could be passed down from generation to generation. It's an American product using the highest quality Northwest hardwood with 22 karat gold lettering and gold metal finishing throughout. The entire artwork from print to frame is handcrafted in our facility by our master printers and framers. We set the edition at 77 to commemorate the year Washington set up camp at Valley Forge. Each is signed by the artist and numbered. At Haven Light, we help others to find their voice through art. We know that the true power of art is how it makes you feel and what it says to those you love. Whatever your message, let art be your voice.